guys we have a new erb all right um super hyped to actually encounter this we haven't seen one of these in entirely too long guys we need to make sure that that doesn't happen again right so write whoever you need to write yes and make sure that they are producing these absolutely amazing things yes all right so really quickly what we're going to do here we're going to do this one a little differently um normally i would play it and basically stop after every line because we kind of expect these to be fully packed and uh this most is... most likely it will be all right um so what we'll do here is uh we'll play the verse and then stop after the verse then i'll try to dig into whatever lines we need to dig into right then I'll timestamp it so you guys can just skip ahead if you don't want to hear me ramble on about what I think the meaning of it is, right? And um, then we'll decide who wins at the end, <laughs> All right? But listen, if you guys are new here, please like and subscribe. The more that you like this content, the more that I know that you specifically would like to see more of this specific type of content, okay? Let's check it out. Make it a little larger for you guys. Let's get it. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. I think rock battles of history. Laura Croft. Faster. Let's get it, guys. This battle crack and I'll leave you like a reboot. Flattened. You used to be the queen of booby trapping. What happened? You got too woke to be fun. Now yeah. the Indiana kind of don't want to. Too many voices inside you. You burn through women quicker than I do. I think you should have dropped Hollywood as an option. When even Angelina gave you up for adoption. Let's cut to the chase. Oh, wait, he died. I guess you couldn't tap the addicts in time. And the bandicoot to your family's playing in asses, kid. You got a tragic history of a crash. Bro. Well, I'm trying to beat. Figuring out why you're dressed for the beat. I've seen more class than the kids that teach You can rise all you want, and I'm still out of reach So go grab your relics and run You verse me, is sword verse God <laughs> just the first four notes of my theme Exceed everything you've done Dr. J Okay guys, hold on Alright Let's let's take a deep dive, okay There's a lot here Alright, there's a lot here <clears throat> He starts off by saying, let's get this battle cracking Obviously him with the whip Then also double entendre, let's get it started Right uh, I'll leave you like your your reboot flattened. Uh, yeah, they we're talking about the game that came out in like the mid 2010s, let's say maybe 13 or 12. Um, the game was not amazing because they, they kind of messed it up. This is kind of tying into the next line he, he mentioned here. You used to be the queen of booby trapping. All right. Flattened. OK, because what they did was, I guess uh, they kind of. Um, <laughs> took too much of the outside pressure onto the game itself and then was it was like bro we need to not allow i don't know men to be happy i don't know how to, i can't explain that guys i don't know what it was but either way um so what happened was is that uh, they they basically flattened her chest and they realized instantly well they did a little more than flatten her chest right but story storyline wise um but they they changed the character so much that it became not very interesting for a lot of for the same group of people that were playing it to play it right um hence the reason why he also mentioned here you got too woke to be fun all right uh then he says uh, my now my indiana conda don't want none obviously referencing Nicki minaj's song um and my anaconda don't want none also there's another song obviously anaconda right uh before Nicki minaj's but that's most likely the reference right because it's new school um he's also okay uh, is that it? I think that's it on that line there. Let's see what else is next here. You got too many voices inside of you. Uh, yeah, too many people played her part. Absolutely. Um, there were too many different people that played her part. So that's what that's that reference there. You have too many voices inside of you. You burn through women quicker than I do. Yeah, I think it was like five or like seven women that played her part from like the mid 90s. So yeah, all right. Um, I'm not sure about the next line here. Um, I think you should have dropped Hollywood as an option. I'm not really, I don't really get that. But maybe that's just for the sole purpose of catching the next line here where he says, even Angelina gave you up for adoption. Um, this is obviously referencing uh, Angelina Jolie not wanting to take part in the, the next addition to the movie itself, right? Uh, even she gave it up to another person. Also, kind of an insult because Angelina Jordan is kind of known, pub not Jordan, Angelina Jolie is pretty much known publicly for um, 
adopting kids. So the, the fact that she adopts and she gave you up for adoption is super disrespectful, right? Uh, let's see what else here. Let's cut to the chase. Chase was her ex-boyfriend, I think, guys. Uh, let's see, from from Crash Bandicoot, your family. Okay, this is also obviously referencing the games, the, the collaboration games that they had, um, uh, Lara Croft and Crash Bandicoot in, in the 90s. Was, was on was on like PlayStation 1 or something, guys. Um, they were okay, right? I think he's referencing the fact that they were down into the ashes, I guess, right? That they were not very good. And then also referencing the tragic history with crashes because her family died in a plane crash. She was the only one that survived. That's that reference there. Um, what else is here? The puzzle I'm trying to beat. I'm trying to figure out why you dress. Okay, yeah. She's always dressed in a way that doesn't make sense to be an explorer because it just... Well, she's not really an explorer. She's more like a mercenary of sorts. But, you know, either way, right? Um, that's her whole thing. Her whole thing is pretty much rooted in dressing like that in an area where she really shouldn't be dressed like that because it's not really good for your for you as a as a person. You think about all the things that could happen. Well bug bites. <laughs> Just think about that, right? It's, it's it's weird. Don't dress like that. Um I've seen more class from kids uh from the kids that he teaches. Um I think one of the one of his movies, uh he was a teacher or something like that, and then there was like um like super terrible kids. Maybe that's that reference here. You see more class and wasn't really much class, right? Um, what else we have here? Uh, you can rise all you want. Okay, you can grab your relics and run. I'm not sure about that reference. You versus me is, is like a sword versus a gun. Um, that's a reference where he was like not feeling extremely well and still was able to delete the bad guy very nonchalantly, just like hair. <laughs> um, and also during this scene here, you can actually see him just literally non very uninterestingly turn around and just say bow right so that, that's that reference there um then he references how, about how the first four notes of his theme song exceed everything that she's done kind of <laughs> well, kind of i mean think about this for a second play the first like 20 seconds right and you'll instantly recognize this theme song it's super iconic um so yeah kind of right Absolutely. All right, but let's get it. Let's uh, continue. Scott, honey, just the first four notes of my theme exceed everything you've done. Dr. All right. Jones, you're no rival. You've been getting owned since. Give me the whip, throw me the idol. Indiana Conda, for heaven's sake, you'd shit those dickies at a garter snake. You stole your famous other daddy jacket and Stetson from the cold dead hands of Charlton Heston. Some ladies mistake you for brave and hunky, but you're such a tough to date, you could kill a little monkey. No, that's... Oh, come on. There's no time for love, Dr. Jones. This is one temple that you'll never be exploring. You're not John Williams, so you ain't scoring. Three decades in the game and my fans still adore me. You tried alien Kinda. stars and chose poorly. Your whole story got blown up on a sitcom. There's a big bang you can't hide in the fridge from. Hang up the whip before you crack a hip. I think oh. even Bob wants you to quit. Just do it! I kill dinosaurs for fun. What's another old geezer? I'll lock this battle up like Winston in the freezer. Dinosaurs? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, all right. All right. You had some, you had a couple of like solid lines here, guys. Uh, I'm just going to read out the notable ones. All right. Uh, you stole your, your famous leather daddy jacket from Stetson, um, from the cold dead hands of, of Charleston Hudson. Uh, Charleston Hudson was an actor. I'll give you that because they did dress somewhat similar. No, no. Okay. No, no, no. It, he stole his outfit. All right, moving on. Um, the cold dead, <laughs> the cold dead hands reference is basically from like a like an early two thousands um, like NRA speech. Uh, you can you can have my gun when you pry it from my cold dead hands. I think that's that reference that she's making. And Charleston Hudson did say that, right? Um, then then he goes then she goes on to say something about how you're a toxic date. Um, how could you basically extinguish the life of a little monkey, bro? That's a that's a stretch, okay? Um, I don't think that he really did that on purpose, right? Like, like the, the, like the food was poisoned, okay? He didn't know. Right? He had to be told not to eat it because, again, he didn't know, right? So, calm down, all right, on that one. Marion was fifteen when you raided her bones. Oh, sh um, she's, she's basically pointing out the fact that he was like 25 and she was 15 um, and he got her pregnant. <laughs> so that's, you know, hey, listen, uh, 
no guys in our in our time frame obviously that is that is inappropriate so maybe it was still inappropriate then i just don't know i was i wasn't there right um that's no time for love dr jones i think that's a reference to a line i can't recall it at this moment but i know that i know that's a line um i think they're, I think they're being like chased or something and there's no time for love we got company or something like that dr drones something like that in that reference right okay and so um this is one temple that you will not be exploring uh super notable there also um obviously my body is my temple she's referring to herself right her body is not to be explored by him because he explores temples double entendre uh let's see what else we have here Huh. You're not John Williams. Obviously, John Williams is a person who has scored probably almost every single iconic movie that we have, period. Right? He's a, He scores movies. Let's see. Also, double entendre, obviously, because to score is to be able to copulate with someone. This is referencing, obviously, the body is a temple line um, from before. Uh, where are we at here? Um... You tried alien skulls and chose poorly. Um, this is referring to the crystal skull. We didn't really know that was that until the end of the movie. And it's also considered probably one of the worst of his movies. So mm, that's a stretch, Laura. All right. Let's see what else here is. Um, your whole story got blown up on a sitcom. There's a Big Bang. Why? Because uh, the Big Bang Theory basically broke the whole movie, basically saying that um, the Susies, which we call them here in this channel, the Susies, yes, um, they were still going to make it to the Ark and make it to the island without their without him even being there. So kind of made the movie irrelevant, right? It didn't make the movie valuable with his presence. So we just sat there and wasted our time because he was going to, because the Susies were going to get there anyway, bro. You did nothing, all right? All right, let's see what else is here. Um, he says, uh, Mutt, I think even Mutt wants you to quit. Uh, Mutt as in like Mutt Williams, um, just do it. <laughs> That's a reference to um, the actual real person who plays Mutt, uh, which is Shia LaBeouf. He has like this super famous meme that says, do it, right? Just do it. And uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what that is. That's. Let's see. Um, okay, she extinguishes dinosaurs for fun. Um, yeah, right. But they belong in a museum. I think that's a reference. Uh, uh, maybe that's the reference she's making. Because he, he always says dinosaurs belong in a museum. Um, let's see here. Winston in the freezer. Uh, the cold storage or something. In one of the games where you could basically like lock Winston in a freezer. That's one of her games, right? Um, but all right, let's get it belong in a museum. Right. It's a full course meal of chilled Indian voodoo. And they don't even kill as many animals as you do. You're corrupting the youth. They should be outside, not trying to unload the barrels on your thighs. Wow. You ditch those pistols akimbo, but you're still the same rich backflipping bimbo. A rap and a treasure map. They're catastrophes. Right. You're not sacked with innocent casualties. Right. right. Nothing you changed. You watch anymore. That's why they dropped you like a J in the floor. When they designed your core, they ripped my style. And jiggled in a bit of girl's polygon wild. You took wow. the uncharted territory. Now you're just in uncharted territory. Overshadowed by a great like Lil Wayne. Somebody needs to make a tune for your old game. If you want to Wow. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <clears throat> that was a better verse. All right. That was a much better verse here. Um, obviously, his, his pretty much common typical tagline, dinosaurs belong in a museum. He's playing off the fact that she just mentioned that she extinguishes dinosaurs for fun. All right. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Um, the Indian voodoo, um, chilled Indian voodoo. He, he was basically given um, like food from the Indian death cult um, that was like snakes and beetles and other nasty things, right? And then the voodoo references the voodoo doll that was created in his likeness um, by them. Let's see. Even they don't extinguish as many animals as you do. Yeah, because all basically all she does in her games is extinguish multiple amounts of animals that come and attempt to attack her. All right. Let's see. Another reference to to how see not trying to unload the barrels on your thighs this is another reference to how her game character is just over sexualized that's what that's her base that was her base 
And when they basically took all of that away, her game is instantly failed, guys. That's that reference. Let's see. Yeah, she got rid of the pistols. Uh, you might have ditched those two pistols, akimbo, akimbo, which just basically means to dual wield. Um, so, yeah, she got rid of that. She no longer does that. They tried to also change her character. This is referencing the second line here. Um, you're still a, a rich backflipping, right? Um, this is uh, this is referencing the literal change in her character. She's no longer who she was. Uh, she's no longer what attracted people, right? Let's see. Stuffing your knapsack with innocent casualties. Guys, both of them literally go through the world piling bodies, right? The difference is, is that she piles bodies for her own wealth, okay? And um, Indiana Jones basically piled Susie's bodies, okay? So which one is more relevant? or Which one is, is less offensive, I'd say? Let's see here. Uh, designed to your core. This is referencing core design. Uh, I think that was the first uh, gaming studio or so. Uh, they, they made a lot of games or made a lot of really interesting games in the 90s core design. Uh, they flipped. They, they ripped my style. Absolutely. Like her whole her whole thing was pretty much based off of Indiana Jones, but a female version and jiggled in a bit of poly of, of girls poly gone. Wait, 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 girls poly gone wild. Obviously girls gone wild. Um, and then Polygon, because she's made of polygons. Um, so that's an interesting little double entendre there. No need to really explain that one. Hopefully you guys get that. Uh, you took 3D to uncharted territory. Absolutely. Her game did because she was probably one of the first. Th this game was probably one of the first like real 3D games. So I think that and like Mario or something like that. Um, so that's that reference there. Let's see. Now you're just in Uncharted territory. Yeah, she ripped off another game, Uncharted territory, guys. All right, uh, overshadowed by Drake, like Little Wayne. Um, how do I feel about that line, guys? Uncharted, like Drake, by Little. Okay. Um, when Little Wayne found Drake and Nicki Minaj, absolutely Drake blew up much larger than Little Wayne did. Um. We may not want to admit it because I generally am not a Drake fan at, like at all. I can't stand listening to him. Um, I can definitely listen to Lil Wayne a little bit more, but the numbers don't lie, unfortunately. There are more people that enjoy listening to Drake than Lil Wayne, so that's that reference. Absolutely, Drake overshadowed Lil Wayne. Sorry, that verse was worse than your crap on Atari. Oh, Fedora the Explorer thinks he's tough. You must have gotten dragged behind two oh, many trucks. Worse than your crap on Atari. Oh, Fedora the Explorer thinks he's tough. You must have gotten dragged behind too many trucks. So strap the bombs on short rounds and pump the brakes. The only overshadowed thing is that face. I'm whooping you so bad I should get flagged for cheating. Like Mill around with a heart and he's taking a beating. I'm oh, the first wet dream gamers ever had. You're a Halloween costume for out of shape dads. Oh, my bad. Your dad was never present. At best, the affection you got was sloppy seconds. Ew. You did your sidekick. Never met your own kid because his mom cut you off like a rope bridge you're a dog uh. indiana that's fact the only thing you're loyal oh, to is that no cap oh shit oh shit melted and you lost that smolder so make like a boulder and roll your ass over because do you the baby boomer beating me a rapping that's like my new coat never gonna happen oh, yeah. oh, oh shit God. bro hold on hold on hold on hold on bro oh no she didn't oh no she didn't bro um Oh my! Well, hold on, guys. All right, let's let's dig into this, guys. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. Um, all right. So if you want to stick to games, stick to Sorry. Sorry is another like board game. All right. Uh, the verse is worse than your crap on Atari. Never played it. I know it came out in the eighties. It was like three or four years before I was born. Never played it. Uh, fedora the Explorer. He wore a fedora. All right. So, and he was an explorer. All right, cool. But double entendre, Dora the Explorer, basically is a is a is an explorer, a kid explorer. Um, how do I explain this nicely? That needs outside influences to tell them how to do anything. Right. So, take that how you want to take that one. Right. Um, yeah, he got dragged behind a truck. Okay. Uh, strap some blocks on a short round and pump the brakes. Okay. Uh, short round was another character. Short round absolutely needed. He was too short, right? He absolutely needed to basically put like blocks on his feet to basically hit the brakes and the gas. So that's a thing. It's a not really a jab. So I'm a pass on that bar. Um, 
like Molaram with the heart. Molaram basically was, was like the head of the, the death cult, I think. And um, sacrificed someone and basically removed the, um, the, the, the beating heart from the chest of that person. Um, and then also, obviously, beating heart. Indy takes a beating. That's what that is, right? Uh, let's see. On the first wet... Uh, again, she was over-sexualized. Um, now, here's the bar, guys. Here's the bar. Here's the bar. You're a Halloween costume for out-of-shape dads. Oh, God damn it, bro. That's something different, all right? That's something different. That's something special. <laughs> uh, think about it for a second. Um, when Indiana Jones was, like, super, like, super popular, think about the... the the people that were going to watch it, like the age of the people that were watching it at that very specific time. Now, fast forward to right now, they're going to be mostly in their 40s, 50s, and 60s, right? The people who want to dress up like Indiana Jones are going to be in that age range, and they're going to be dads, generally, right? So, And they're going to be out of shape, just pretty much based off of facts, <laughs> right? So out of shape dads, that's a, that's a solid bar, bro. It's deep. Um, let's say you, uh, your dad was never present. Factual, right? Um, the best affection you got was sloppy seconds. Savage, right? Because the father and him. Damn, dude. Damn, wait, hold on. How do I say this in a, in a way that is uh, not going to get the video flagged, right? Um, let's see. The father and he both had the same woman. And to reference it as sloppy seconds would mean that. They're basically sharing lubricant, but lubricant in a way that is odd. Like, so the father finished inside of the person. Then Indiana Jones came right behind her and said, oh, you're already lubricated. Let me dive right in. Now he's <laughs> not <laughs> now now. Indiana Jones is absolutely using his father's man juice as lubricant. So in a sense, the best affection you got from your father was sloppy seconds. That may have taken the entire battle, guys. Just think about that for a second, right? You ditched your sidekick. You never met your own kid. That's really not his fault because Marion specifically didn't tell him that she was pregnant, all right? So keep that in mind. Um, Cause his mom cut you off like a rope bridge. We, I'm sure we get the rope bridge reference. Now, I think the overall burial is the next bar here. You're a dog, Indiana. Well, yeah, technically. Kinda. No, he's a human being, right? She's calling him a dog because she's blaming him for never meeting his kid when it's really the mother that actually cut him off. Okay. Let's point that out. Um, but the reason why this line is so dope is because to call him a dog is interesting because the father actually named him after the family dog. Bro. Indiana, you're a dog. That's, that's fire. That's absolutely fire, guys. Um, the only thing you're loyal to is your hat. Yeah, he'd risk anything for his hat, so no cap. Obviously, making fun of that. You know, also, at the same time, double entendres and saying he's not lying about it, right? It's just there's, there's all truth in my statement, right? Let's see what we have here. Your straight, your straight face melted. You lost that smolder. Um, I think this is a fourth wall break here because she's referencing the real character, Harrison Ford. Um, yeah, he's older man now. Absolutely. When he was younger, the women loved to look at him. He was, he was like beautiful, apparently, right? And now he's like 80 something years old. Yeah, he, he melted, bro. He's it's called age, All right? Next, um, okay, boulders, the rolling boulder line. Okay, this is referencing to him basically being chased out of a, a chamber because of the boulder came and he had to literally escape or be crushed. Um, junior, junior is a reference to most likely uh, the father calling him junior, right? Uh, the baby boomer, that's weird because 
under no circumstance is even the main character a baby boomer. I think he's coming from before the baby the baby boomer generation. He may, I think Harrison Ford is like if he's eighty, he's probably like the silent generation or something like that, guys. So he's not a baby boomer, but maybe she's just maybe she's referencing him as a baby boomer for the sole purpose of saying that he's just out of touch, right? Because I think that's how it's used now. Now, like my nude code, it's never going to happen. Um, that's referencing the fact that everyone thought that there was like a code that basically removed the clothes of Laura Croft and that really wasn't a thing. Um, even the like the developers were like, bro, no such thing exists. So you're not going to find it. We're not going to do this, right? So that's that reference. Never going to happen. All right. Now, who won, though? Let me go back a little bit. That's Mulder, so make like a boulder and roll your ass over. Because Junior, the baby boomer, beating me up rapping. That's like my new code. Never going to happen. This is rough, guys. Like, seriously, this is rough. Hmm. Alright, guys, so basically... I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. It's a solid battle. I think, uh, I think Laura Croft definitely had more of like the hard hitting bars. Indiana Jones kept really just talking about himself. Um, while Laura Croft also kept just talking about Indiana Jones. Um, from Indiana Jones, it's like part, he was just talking about the whole time how over sexualized her, her, uh, her game is, her entire character is, and her whole essence is that, and how she's a failure when they tried to remove it. That's kind of what I get from that. And then Laura Croft is just making fun of the fact that he most likely has like daddy issues. Um, who, who who takes it, guys? Who takes it? Who takes it? Um, personal opinion, obviously. I liked how Indiana Jones rapped a lot better than how Lara Croft delivered. Uh, like, no... They're not close to me, guys, right? Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it to, like, Indiana Jones, guys. Right? I like the bars from Lara, though. I do, I do. I think just for the rap, I would say Indiana Jones, but for like the bars, Laura Croft. And that, that, again, that again leaves me in a position where I can't really decide who took this. Um, guys, I don't know. I'm so torn. The bar, listen, Laura's bar, listen, never mind. Laura Croft took it. That's who took it. All right. For the love of hip hop. <laughs> the bar, listen, the, the last verse, there's no coming back from that one, guys. The sloppy seconds, bro. That's it. That's it. All right. Listen, uh, let me know in the comments of the, the next thing um, from them that I should be listening to. And I will get into that as soon as I possibly can. All right. Listen, uh, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy it thoroughly. But also, guys, I have done every single one of these. Okay. So check them out. I'll leave a playlist in the uh, uh, pinned comment. All right. Enjoy your day. Mm -hmm.